Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. Last week, Ukrainian officials expressed interest in French aging but still effective Mirage 2000D strike aircraft. They said they would be used in conjunction with Ukraine's existing Su-24 Fencer strike aircraft to supplement them. And you guys, the viewers, asked us to try this out in a scenario. Now, the first thing to say is the viewer request said to use them as an air-to-air -air platform against frontline Russian fighters. But the D variant of the Mirage 2000 is not an air-to-air -air fighter. It's not an interceptor. It's actually a strike aircraft, a ground attack aircraft. It can carry some air-to-air -air weapons, but they're purely for self-defense. So we're going to use them today as a strike aircraft. So welcome to 2024 Mirage 2000D Coordinated Time on Target Standoff and Direct Strike versus Russian Layered Defense. And I'm aware this thing just came up. How professional of me. The terrain today, this dotted line is representing the flot separating Ukrainian and Russian held territory. The target for us today in our mirages is a base in Russia here, about 60 miles back from the flot. In our roleplay, Ukrainian drone ISR has spotted it being used to refuel and resupply Russian attack helicopters. Today, we must lay waste to this base. The base itself is defended by Shorad, three Russian Eagle man pads. As well as that, we have one, two, three, four, five SA-11 Buk surface-to-air missile sites with ranges of about 20 miles, very tightly interlaced and layered. Unrealistically so, to be honest, but we want to make this super hard. Defending the area between the flot and the base. As well as surface-to-air missiles, of course, they have fighters which will scramble and defend the airspace. Russia tends to station its older fighters closer to the flot because, of course, they're more vulnerable. So, 40 miles back will be Su-27 4th-gen fighters armed with uh, 1990s missiles. They'll be protecting the airspace and will enter the airspace when we are detected. In terms of our attack, we start 100 miles northwest of the target base. And the first line of attack will be the use of standoff weapons. We'll have AI mirages for this, starting 150 miles back. In fact, I should say that we have a Patriot site here. It's reach of 80 miles, reaching to about here. We're going to attack from the coverage of the Patriot, as is a sensible step. The standoff aircraft will be two Mirages AI flown. Now, we don't have the Mirage 2000D 3D model, so we're using the C. It's almost identical, but it only has one pilot instead of two. But kinematic-wise, it's about the same. We're presuming that if the deal does go ahead, then the D models will come with their primary standoff weapon, the Scalp EG. Uh, you may know this as Storm Shadow in other countries, it's called. Uh, we'll have two of those equipped and a couple of self-defense missiles. Note that we have them on the wrong pylons. You have to imagine they're swapped around. We had some small technical problems making them, but otherwise it will make no difference. The standoff aircraft will transit to Sear Point 1, where they will launch their four Scalp missiles, which will travel 100 miles and hit the infrastructure, the larger targets at the base. Uh, this building, this building, this building, and this building. Leaving any targets of opportunity for us, and that's where we come in, will be direct. We will have Mirage 2000Ds. We'll be starting at a road farp here, where it's moderately safe to start. Equipped with direct fire rockets, uh, pods for chaff and flare, and uh, fuel tanks. We will meet the standoff aircraft and fly with them to steer point one when they fire their missiles. We'll follow their missiles in to our steer point one and then we will follow our steer point chain. And this is where it gets interesting and quite cool. We'll start with steer point one and we'll follow VFR references, roads and then rivers. Steer point two, steer point three, steer point four, steer point five, steer point six, which will best guide us between the book sites. They'll take us within five miles of the book sites. So it's incredibly important we move fast and incredibly low. The book skill levels today are high deliberately to make this a difficult mission. 
note, especially for Simba, who will be leading us today, uh, INS uh, waypoint 7, sorry, 6, is our initial point. That takes us about 8 miles off the radial of the runway, at which point we'll pop up for our attack. Of course, watch out for man pads. IR decoys will be essential. Targets of opportunity, but definitely take out any attack helicopters. You'll get one run and one run only because this is a realistic strike. This isn't a Grim Reaper style strike. Once you've made your one run with your rockets, you'll head back to base as best you can without getting shot down. By that point, the Russians will be alerted and you'll be being chased by flankers out and all alerted SAMs will be aiming in your direction. So take extreme care. Now, to make this even more difficult and cool, we're going to run a time on target strike. So, we've deliberately set the scalp of the Storm Shadow missiles to fly slow, about 450 knots, to give us time to follow our waypoint chain and arrive exactly on time on the target that the Storm Shadows arrive. Again, that's going to be part of Simba's plan today. If it all works, then the Storm Shadows should strike the infrastructure just as we approach the runway, which will be super cool. If we arrive slightly early, I guess it's not the end of the world, but ideally we want to arrive to the second when those Storm Shadows arrive. Welcome in viewers, we're in our makeshift Mirage 2000D Simba, please unpause server. Right guys, we're going to remember how to fly our Mirages, so let me have a look. We're going to need our radar on, just in case. Uh, we're going to need our master arm on, for sure. I'm going to select my rockets now, before I forget. Uh, get our radar altimeter energised and selected. I'm going to turn you right off. Bingo fuel to something a bit more sensible for today. Uh, countermeasures panel uh, SA program 4. I remember it's going to be the best for us. Toe brakes on, e brakes off. Cap ready, call out ready. Fire ready. Simba ready. Fire ready. Cap all ready. ready. All right, Simba, please take us off a left pull to 300 and meet up with the sand off, guys. Rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Mirage 2000C brackets D. One forty and rotate. Right. I suppose it's up to me to crash then. All right. I'm gonna come out of the canyons to ninety percent throttle for everybody to catch up. Roger, I'm aware we've left our lights on and I can't remember how to turn them off in flight, so just leave them on, guys. Chew, Jesus. Please tell me I haven't bust my plane. Please tell me I haven't just bust my plane. I'm good, I'm good. I burst a tire, but I'm good. Woof! Right, viewers, select both pods, check. Action forward, check. Cap is ready. Right, Simba, take us to those mirages. They'll be at two to 3,000 feet, firing from low level, about 50 miles out. The model has more bump than you guys. Oh, wow, my mirror isn't working. Has anyone got mirror problems? Mine is got all matrix. Mine's fine. Yeah, it's mine it, too. Do you have it off by default? Oh, yeah, Press turn it on. on. Uh, Roger. Press on. It's not working. Anyway, I'm going to leave that. Click on it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, shit. 600 knots. Ah. Sorry, right, viewers. Had a bit of a weird problem there. Okay, so I'm, on that... your, I'm on your right wing. Is that yeah, you that overshot, Cap? No, no it's me. not me, but oh, I will no. be overshooting and I will yo-yo. Uh, uh, typical dark. Hello, that's me oh. overshooting, guys. Cap got me <laughs> looking at the mirror. Yeah, Cap came right from my gun, gun sight. Yes, I'll do that. Has anyone got visual on our guys that we're protecting? I'm not protecting Roughly anyone. 315, 320s, where the RWR return Roger. is coming from. Viewers, this is the Mirage 2000C mod, uh, model, sorry, uh, module. We don't fly it a lot. Uh, it's just so hard to remember how to fly so many planes, and this one's a bit niche, or niche how to use it, so we don't fly it very often, but it's pretty cool and people swear by it. It's known as it the Dorito, it's known as Dorito, is it? Why is it called Dorito, guys? That's Mexican. No, it's Trump shaped top. like a Dorito. Is it? Potato chip. It's an American yeah. potato chip. They're shaped in triangles. Ah, right. I call it Cortana's Wrath. 
Huh. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, guys? Uh, it's a corn chip, not a potato chip. Right, that unknown radar on the nose, on the RWR, is going to be the Patriot Simba. It will not be the Mirage. Uh, oh, they are off to our left. Roger. 90 degrees. Nice spot. Pushing up the full mill. Roger. I see them, Simba. I'm going to give you a heading. Oh, break. One, eight, zero. Moving right to left, uh, slightly lower of the horizon. One, seven, zero. About five miles out. Yep, visual. On the horizon line now. All right, guys. Enemy SAM sites, radars popping up on mm -hmm. the RWR. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. All right, coming off the throttle to meet up. Watch out, uh, let us know when someone clocks their speed, guys. Oh, missiles being fired, missiles being fired. Right, here we go, viewers. This is the Scout EG, uh, known to people like me as a Storm Shadow. Wow, that was quick. Right, Simba, um, can you please set course for your waypoint chain? Hey, firm. Up and uh, right, and I'll be diving down when you pass. Uh, we put Simba in the pretty colours today, viewers, uh, so we can see him easily. Probably not very tactical. All right, there he goes. We will get ahead no. of the missiles, viewers, because we've got to do a uh, different track, obviously. All right, I'm cutting down to about 95% throttle and getting low. Airspeed? Yeah, about 570, but it's going to slowly decrease. All right, power lines. What we should see, viewers, is every now and then I'll be able to look up and see the storm shadows above us. They are semi-stealth. They probably won't be targeted by books. I hope they're not All right, anyway. coming off the throttle. Coming right, 10 degrees. Waypoint to 16 nautical miles. I forgot to say the rules. You may not respawn, guys, unless you have a formation collision, because I'm aware we fly unregisteredly close, and then you may respawn if you formate. Still visual on storm shadows. Lines approaching. You hear that little beep cap? Yes, sir. Now, if you look on your HUD, you see a little cross in the, that's indicating where our waypoint is. Noted. Uh, does it increment automatically, or do I? Am I going to manually increment out of interest? Uh, you have to manually increment. Roger. Noted. Done. We are six nautical miles off. Nose. All right, we're just following your VFR anyway, so. Well, viewers, these books are all live fire books set to high skill level, so if they can see us, they will shoot us. Uh, that becomes an ass problem. Uh, in terms of time on target, we're looking, our delta is looking good. So, uh, Three nautical maintain. miles, we're going to make about a 20 degree turn to the left. Watch out. My plane seems to think that I'm flying too low. Yeah, you ignore that. Having a sip of tea, viewers. Mmm. I see all of the guys in my mirror. <laughs> Coming left in three, two, one. I'm not going to be able to look on the map, viewers, because um, we're flying so low, so I don't know where we are geographically. We'll know when we start getting shots at that we're in Russia. We well, you know what I mean, Russian-occupied land. Power lines. I don't think there's anything more British than sipping tea Agreed. while flying low level. Yes, in a French aircraft, strangely. That said, there have been uh, 
a joint French friendship. God's sake, my brain. Joint Anglo-French ventures. The Jaguar is one example of that. Uh, Matrix flew them, by the way, in the Cold War. You know, Cap, mm -hmm. if you wanted to get more familiar with the uh, Mirage and its systems, you yes, could sir. always go to the uh, Grim Reaper Stoneburner server. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a good training server. You just click the show me more below the video, find the link to our Discord, and uh, the details of how to find the server are there. Or nice. just type Grim Reapers in the search bar in multiplayer. How about that, guys? All right, we'll have a 30 degree right turn in about seven miles. Roger Simba, um, according to my calcs, and they are mine, so they're with a pinch of salt, but we should be doing 12 knots faster, FYI, for our time on target. Copy, push Lines, up. lines, lines. Power lines, oh my god! Jesus Christ, I thought you didn't see them. Thought they were gonna go up. That was the end of us for oh. you. Oh my oh. god, what was that? Somebody actually shot their rockets off too soon. For fuck's sake, guys, how hard is it not to press the fire button? Sorry, viewers, but that is hard to work with, right? Wow. Please it's don't like, shoot us. It's like Gunter Sublime, you never had touch the trigger until oh. you want. Stress. All right, is anyone here? No. no. Negative. All right. 40 degree right pull. Now. RWR is going a bit mental. Yep. Time to start hugging treetops. Yeah, wondering why we're so jerky, guys. It's because we're trying to stay low. I need to say I love this. Enjoying yourself, Fly. Oh yeah. So, but roughly, what steer point are we at? Just so for my calculations. Uh, we should be four going to five. Or Thank we're you. Heading to four. Our delta is good. We're pretty much under the storm shadows, according to maths. We're getting locked. Missiles in the air. Missiles in the air. One o'clock. Missiles in the air. One o'clock. Please don't hit us. Please don't hit us. This is stupidly dangerous. All right, everybody, start checking your spacing. We're hitting the river. Yes. Is anyone here? Uh, Are you here, Doc? Nope. All right. Jesus, that, did you see that, viewers? About three missiles. You see? On my right. I can't look at them properly. It's oh, about we... right behind you with a bit spacing. Just call out when you're breaking. T's good, TOT's good. Jesus. I can't see the surface of the water. Okay, rad out top right, 60 feet. The other end of this forest, the river's gonna make a left bend. Remember your wings, guys. Don't hit your wings in the water. Oh, my God. All right, split the forest. What's the point are we near, Simba? We are on our way to five. 
When possible, we need to punch 20 knots up. Punching up. We are at 13 nautical miles from the steer point. Viewers, no one would ever do this. It's just too dangerous, he says, as the RAF do this all the time. Uh-huh. Shit, I could just overtook you by accident, fly. Just watch out for me. I'm on your right shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Reducing. On your left. Okay. Oh my! We're good. We're good. Oh. We're good. Are you down? Nate, I'm, I'm down. Flying. Shit! If you can respawn, it was a formation collision, guys. Uh, cannonball. Uh, let's keep going. Fly. Ah, damn. Nope, I got hit by a buck. Oh, you were hit. Right. Well, you're out then. Uh, you. Oh yeah, Cap, you're missing your nose. Stand by for GCI duties. I really am missing my nose. You're, you're missing a bit of your butt. Oh. We'll be good, we'll be good, we'll be all right. It's a dangerous what? job, guys. Why it's always you and me, Kev? It's really always me and you, Very isn't it? Speaking. All right, let's Simba, clear comms for Simba. Pull back, dark. Yep, pull yep. back, dark. We lost sight of the storm shadows, but by the feel oh, of it. Sorry. Yep. Pull back, dark, there's loads of time. Yeah, yeah. All right, in four miles, we will second. make a left pull, and that will take us to our IP. Left or right? It will be a left pull. Watch Simba. Out of interest, 17 books have been fired at us. 17 books. Unbelievable. All right, left pull in three, two, one. Cut in the corner. Speeds feel about right. Remember, we've got one pass and one pass only, and then we're back on three, two, zero. Right. Five nautical miles to pop up. Right, Simba, we're in your hands, because I can't see shit. Remember, flares, flares, flares when we get there, man pads. We're past the worst of the books. Speed feels good. We've made up for a bit of slow time. No visual on storm shadows, careful, careful. All right, we are at IP. Simba. 10 nautical miles to target. All right, here we go. Here we go, viewers. We made it. Some of us made it. I've lost my nose. Uh, the Germans lost his butt. Kind of got hit by a book. Normal day with a reaper. Normal day. In fact, it's actually quite good. All right, here's where we find it with Simba's navigation has got us to target. Or are we in friggin' Georgia? Remember, helicopters, helicopters, helicopters. Our rockets can't kill buildings. Blow me down, I think that's it. Is that it, Simba? Yep, that's it. Target right. off the nose. Look for an apron, look for an apron. Apron's to the left of the target. Or, I'm sorry, it's right. Right, right, it's right, it's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. every man for himself. Every man for himself. Cup's going in. Start your shaft and flare, start your flares. Something's going on. Smoke Cap. in the air. Rockets away. Fly fire. Left pull, burner on, chaff, flare, three, two, zero. Flankers in the air, flankers in the air. Effects definitely got on target. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm hit. I'm good. Virus hit as well, still airborne. God damn it. Keep going, keep going. I'm losing my engines winding down. Guys, you can keep going, keep going. Fucking man pads. Okay. I, I, I need a negress. Flutus. I'm flutu. Oh, I am. 320. Sorry, viewers. Flute. You can select waypoint 8. It'll take you there. Watch out. I'll GCI in a second. I just got to land this bird. 
Uh, who's over uh, Brownfield? Flight. Yep, you got you're three on, of us. You're on, on, on path. Yeah, you. Yeah, you got me too. Just think slow down or what? That's why I'm right behind you. Some I'm not sure what kind of damage I took in that hit, but I'm still flying pretty stable. Well done, guys. Right. Yep, flankers are active and in burn after you, I can tell you that, so do not go slow. Uh, 1.25. Book is turning at you. Book is turning at you. Leave my people be, big knobhead. Uh, somebody, we have a on the Oh. Book out, book out, book out. Don't know where it is. Still Six maintaining. Nine, miles to go. Still maintaining 305. I don't have any visual on you guys. You're fine. 305. Flankers and hot pursuit. It's gone to 20,000 feet. Yeah, going on grass arm level. Right. Looks like the flankers have given up. Yeah, they're flying. Well, no, they're 400 and 600 knots. I don't know. And then and they're not. Yeah. I've not asked them to do that, so. We're 800 knots, 80 feet off the deck. Boot out. Smoke in the air, smoke in the air, smoke in the air. Treat it with extreme caution. It's not getting beaten, it's not getting beaten, it's not getting beaten, it's not getting. It's that high terrain. Yes! 20 feet under Simmer's jet. Wow. Jesus, H. Corbett viewers. I was flying right through that smoke. They are hating you with extreme prejudice today. Oh. Dark, dark's down. Oh no, four left. Didn't know I lost Simba. Oh, nine helicopters down. Well done, guys. Don't know how many I put in. I can see the cockpit out, right out of Fly's wing. All right, I'm going under power lines. Well done. Simba is back across the flot. You are back across the flot. You are not mega safe, but you are moderately safe. 30 miles until Patriot coverage. Same with Fly, you are across the flot. Fire and... Alright, I'm coming out of burner because I am bingo fuel. Looks like we took out all but four, but those four are heavily damaged. Push is taking a hit. He's missing a uh, Ella Vaughn. Ella Vaughn. Weapon release was bound to my push to talk. You twat, Pooch. How do you manage that? <laughs> Book's just hey. stood down. Book just stood down. We, we, it's never a grimy push mission if we don't have a friendly fire. Roger. Sorry about the flankers, viewers. I set them as cap. I set them aggressive. That's all I can do. I point them in the right direction. If they want to go fly around in circles, that's a flanker problem. Now what I can do about that. And I can't be bothered to fire up Olympus now. Uh, right, Simba. You are out of threat, bearing in mind that the flankers have not bothered chasing us. Uh, you can look for the path and go in land. Thanks. Well, I'm still in Russian occupied area, so I guess I get oh, yeah, out of work, viewers. Or to decrease that to 2 6. Mm -hmm. Are you saying it's currently 2 6 0 from me, or? No, to get on runway heading. I okay. consider myself as an Akrano plan. Oh, Akrano plan. Now, I would love to see one of those in real life. Mm. Alright, I'm off the ground, pulling up. Alright, I'm on, on my way, guys. Fire on a five degrees right. You're ten miles out. Push, head, break. Out of fuel. I'm out of fuel. I suggest landing with your gear uh, up and belly land it. It's quite a sturdy frame. If you can, jettison your uh, stores, but it's probably not modeled anyway, so. If you go down with min speed. What's your fuel state, fire? Uh, it's showing zero, so. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the problem, guys. Oh, push, got it. I guess don't land with the fuel tank still attached. And then number three viewers. Right, watch out for the telegraph. Doesn't matter. Right, don't slam any brakes too much, Simba, because you've got two guys in tow. Chicks in tow. You pretty bad. So good. And that is my boys. Perfect tandem landing. Very nice. Just speed their fire. Watch your speed. Don't ram him. Don't ram him. Stop, stop, Simba. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to hit you. Burn her on, Burn her on. Burn her on. Burn her on. Burn her on. Son of a... It's all right. They're perfectly serviceable airframes. I had no brakes. Yeah, that is a thing. I, um, I had no gas. <laughs> 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 well, that's no funny. one said that Ukraine was going to take care of the airframes. I mean, that's not in the contract, guys, right? Okay, guys. I'll just blame it on fire was mesmerized by my paint job. Sure, that. that yeah, that's it. Right, one guy paint made job. it back. Um, we took off. We had a bit of shenanigans, but Simba led us through a perfect uh, INS 
uh, waypoint path, which is nice. We got shot at 17 times. Only one of us got shot down, so I'm happy with that. We made it to target. Uh, a lot of helicopters. And the ones that weren't killed, I imagine they're full of shrapnel and they're not going to be going anywhere. Look, you see? I think one helicopter survived. So that's a lot of damage. Plus, our storm shadows appear to have uh, flattened some buildings, so that's good. I hope you enjoyed that, and bye-bye!